Welcome friends, in this one let's take a look at graphing r equals negative 1 in polar coordinates. So look at the panel up there, you see it has the angles marked along this axis, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3, pi over 4, all the way down to 2 pi. So now r equals negative 1 in this Cartesian representation looks like a horizontal line. Now how does this connect to polar paper down below? That's what you want to understand. So take a look here, at the angle where it says 0, you see r equals negative 1 is like that all the way across. When 0 goes in, negative 1 comes out. In polar paper, that shows up this way, as the segment that begins from the origin here and goes over in this direction. So in other words, instead of going from 0 out to 1, positive on the right side, because r is negative, you got to begin at the origin and go in the opposite direction this way. Now look at pi over 4, that's another segment. Again, the angle is positive, but because r is negative, segment and polar coordinates looks like the following that I've just drawn there. Instead of going from here up to pi over 4, which would be in this direction, because r is negative, you're going to begin at the origin and go in the opposite direction this way. At pi over 2, same principle. Look carefully. At pi over 2, instead of going from 0 up to 1, which is what, you know, pi over 2 is right here, you see pi over 2, you got to go in the opposite direction down below. And then you repeat this. So to be pi over 4, you would go this way. At pi, you would go in that way. So in other words, let me emphasize that pi, which normally would be a 180 degree turn this way. You see it says a pi right here. Instead, you got to go from the origin now in the opposite direction. At 5 pi over 4, you see you would go this way. And then 3 pi over 2, because the angle, there's 3 pi over 2, but r is negative, you're going to go up instead of down. And at 7 pi over 4, because r is negative, you're going to go in that direction. And at 2 pi, well, that traces a whole circle, so you're back over here, and then the whole circle gets traced this way. And then... The circle is a direction, right? So basically it goes from here, kind of through here, through here, and then all the way back to here. So that's the way the circle is traced. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.